Jeff Keenan here. So Xfinity recently changed all their speed tiers. Now I'm on the 1.2 gig speed tier. So I upgraded my cable modem to a 2.5 gig. I also have a 2.5 gig capable router. And I did some testing with Wi-Fi 6E and wired. So the cable modems, the Motorola MB8611. So this is the new Ingenious Gateway, ESG510. This has 2.5 gig ports for the WAN and for the LAN. Now I'm using CAT6A here going to the cable one, which also has a 2.5 gig port. And then over to the switch, which is an, it's an ECS2520 FP. This has 16 multi-gig ports, so I'm plugged into port number 23. Now the rest of my network's uplinked at 10 gig using these SFP plus ports with either uh, Twin-X or uh, copper modules. Now for wireless, I'm running the new Ingenious ECS336 Wi-Fi 6E access point. This can do six gigahertz for the fastest and then it also supports 2.4 and 5.8. So on this laptop, I'm using this 2.5 and 5 gig Sabrent USB 3 adapter. So my laptop's connected at 2.5 gig right now into a switch. And then we're gonna run the speed test. Okay, so we're doing the wired speed test now. Let's see what we get. Nice, already over a gig, 1.2, 1.3, 1 1.336, pretty good. I'm only paying for 1.2, I'll take that. All right, let's do the wireless speed test. You see here, I'm connected to the Ingenious ECW336 and it's connected at 2.4 gigabits per second, just a little bit slower than the wired side. Let's try it. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine. Will we crack a gig on the wireless 6E? No, not this time. 961, not too bad. Now I was getting even faster speeds earlier. So on the wired side, you see 1.4 gig. And then on the wireless side with the Wi Fi 6E, 1098 meg. Pretty good, we're getting over a gigabit wireless now on the internet. There you go, I'll put a link below if you wanna to try to replicate this setup uh, for all the products. Remember to like and subscribe for more help with Wi-Fi and tech products.